Okay, problem one on flow meters. A 62.5 mm diameter fire hose discharges a 31.25 millimeter jet. If the head lost in the nozzle is 1.8 meters, what is the flow rate if the nozzle is to throw a stream to a vertical height of 30 meters, neglecting air resistance? What is the horsepower available at the tip of the nozzle? And what pressure must be maintained at the base of the nozzle? So let's could draw the figure to help analyze the situation. So this 30 meters is the velocity head at end by experience. So Vn square over 2g equals 30. So from there, we can compute V sub n velocity at the nozzle tip of 24.26 meters per second. Then the discharge pi over 4 times 0 0.03125 quantity square times mean velocity 24.26 times 1000 to convert it to liters per second. So the discharge in liters per second, 18.61 liters per second, or the flow rate. What is the horsepower available at the tip of the nozzle? So since the tip is exposed to the atmosphere, the energy available at the tip of the nozzle is only the velocity head, which is equal to 30 meters. So therefore, horsepower at the nozzle tip is weight flow rate, Q gamma of water times, times velocity head, which is 30 meters. Then we divide by 0.746 because we plan to express gamma of water equal to 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter. So 0 0.01861 cubic meter per second times 9.81 kilonewtons per cubic meter times 30 velocity head at the nozzle tip over 0.746. So the horsepower available at the nozzle tip is 7.342 horsepower. And finally, the pressure that must be maintained at the base of the nozzle. So we write energy equation between point B and point N because the head loss between the head loss or energy loss between B and N is given 1.8 meters. Datum through B or N because this distance is neg neg negligible or neglected because it's not mentioned in the problem. So velocity head at B, pressure head plus pressure head at B plus elevation head at B equals velocity head at the nozzle tip plus pressure head at the nozzle tip plus elevation head at the nozzle tip plus head loss from B to N. Where V sub B can be computed by continuity equation, we do not consider pi over 4 anymore. It will be cancelled. So 62.5 square times V sub B equals 31.25 square times 24.26 here. So V sub B is 6.065 meters per second. Square this value divided by 19.62. That's the velocity head at the base of the nozzle, 1.875 meters. Substitute into this equation, 1.875 plus pressure B over 9.81 plus 0 equals 30 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1.8. So in this last equation, only P sub B is the unknown, then we can now compute it equal to 293.6 kilopascals. So that's it for this problem.